Records. In this video, we will cover lead forms. Lead forms can be embedded on your website to collect leads right into your dashboard. Let's jump into it. First, from the dashboard, let's click Lead Forms. Here, you can create as many lead forms as you choose. Let's create a new one now. Let's click on Add New. And the first thing we can do is name the form. For this particular example, I'm going to use Website Automotive and then save the form. This is the lead form overview. The graph will show you how many leads were submitted from the lead form each day. Share link will allow you to copy the link and share the form on your social media page. And the embed code allows you to copy the code and then you can embed the form to your website. If we go to the top here and click on settings, we can customize our form. For example, we can change the title. Right now it says get in contact, but let's change it to get a quote. We can also in the form fields section decide what it is we'd like for the client to fill out on the form. So this is what the form looks like now. And in the form fields, let's go ahead and add the vehicle. And you'll see here that the year, make and model vehicle drop down boxes will appear so that the client can enter the type of vehicle that they have. Under custom fields, we can add a new custom field and we can make it for whatever we'd like. So for this example, let's say that we want the client to list the services they're interested in. We would put that there and we can choose how we'd like them to see it. Myself, for this example, I'm going to use a checkbox and we can list the services as options for them to choose from. So we would put tent, PPF, ceramic coatings, whatever it is you have to offer. And then you'll see on the example lead form that comes up, services you're interested in, and that will allow the client to choose all of them or one of them, whatever it is that they choose. You can even change the click to send button. Here it says submit information. Let's change it to click to send. You can change the font even. So here's the font now. Let's change it. It'll change here. Perfect, whatever you choose. And also, if you or your web designer work with CSS, you can add any custom CSS in this field and that will be applied to your lead form as well. A little further down under page setup, here you can enter whatever you'd like. And again, it will show below the logo on your page. So for this example, we'll add servicing, the Costa Mesa area since 2010. And then under business details, if these are checked, the address and phone number will show. If you uncheck them, they will not show. Here, under redirect after submit, if you're using Google Analytics or another lead tracking system, you can enter a thank you address in this field and the client will be sent there after submitting the form. Under advanced, we can enter our contact tags. And for this example, I will enter website and automotive, and then we'll save the changes. Now we can scroll back to the top and we can preview the lead form to see what it looks like and how our client would view it by hitting open. And this is what the lead form looks like and exactly how your client will view it. Here we can see the servicing the Costa Mesa area since 2010 underneath your logo. We did have the address checked, so that's showing here. And the, ad, the year make and model boxes have shown up. The services we're interested in, all of the things that we changed and customized.